And now, around the world and around the corner, it's the David Bowers Awards, bringing the best in indie music to millions of listeners worldwide with your host, the David Bowers. We've got a fantastic lineup of guests, as well as our engineer extraordinaire, Nick the Geek, our entire crew here at the Asylum, and me, I'm John Bon Jovial. And now, here's the voice of indie music, the David Bowers. Thank you once again, legendary John Bon Jovial, and thank you listeners all around the world for stopping by to catch another hour of our music show and talk with the artists who make it. Glad to have you with us, and uh, we're uh, we're here every week doing this. We've got another great show for you, I think, and uh, we got some great music. I know we've got an old friend coming back who is uh, is our first music of the week. Uh, McKaylin has uh, new some new music coming out, and she's going to be joining us next week. But this week, I thought we'd give you a a little bit of a treat here in that uh, this track is one that uh, is available now, but this track she did originally as an acoustic number back when she was 12 or 13 years old. She's updated it, and here it is. This is McKaylin with Carnival. Stand in line to get your best seat. Stranded on the street You're with me, then you're gone Stay here with me or we're done and she'll be joining us again next week. That was an interesting number, and that particular version of it, uh, she features Sean Brady with her on it. So um, we'll have to talk to her about that next week. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if we can squeeze it in. Maybe we'll leave, maybe we'll even play a little bit of the uh, of the original uh, as an acoustic that she did originally when she was just a little kid. That should be interesting to try that. What would you think, John? 
the difference is like day and night. I can remember when uh, you know the she came out with the acoustic version. It was good, but there is a maturity now to this that uh, is so obvious, and it is so much more polished. And and dare I say it, you know, as good as the original was, this is a lot better. And uh, if, if she can keep that maturity to her voice. Uh, the throatiness of it, for lack of better words, uh, she's got a good possibility of, uh, you know, developing this style and going places. Yeah, I really, I really like this arrangement of it. She's done a, a really nice job with it, and uh, you know, it, it's funny too because it it captures the innocence of youth. You can believe that she she came up with this song when she was twelve or thirteen years old. Uh, the the it's just got that innocence to it, and yet it's still a perfectly commercial sound, which is uh, a great combination. Yeah, I like that. And as I said, she will be joining us next week here on the David Bowers Awards, where everyone who comes on, every guest of ours, is an automatic awards winner, and we're proud of that. And we're also proud of the fact that uh, Mary Perry in Rochester, an accredited disability representative, is a uh, sponsor of ours. She uh, she makes sure that our show gets on the Rochester Free Radio, and uh, we appreciate her underwriting the David Bowers Awards on Rochester Free Radio. John Bon Jovial, how are things in your part of the world? Well, you know, summer has definitely gotten here. We've got the uh, the the um, upper levels have got this Saharan dust that is coming over across you know, the Atlantic now, and uh, it, it's it's good in one respect in that it kills any possibility of getting uh, any tropical storms uh, because you know we're into the hurricane season now. So that's a good thing about it. But the bad thing about it is that it makes it just absolutely hotter in hell. <laughs> it's just, you, if you're going to do any work outside, you've got to go out early in the morning because by 10, 1030, uh, you stay out much longer. Seriously, there's a possibility of heat stroke, and nobody wants to see that happen. Uh, but uh, typically, this time of year, uh, it'll get into the 90s, which it is. But the feels like temperature lately has been about 110, 112, and normally it's probably about 97 or 98. So there's quite a difference. Well, we're really familiar with that here because uh, this time of year, every day is a potential heat stroke day. Uh, 90s, well, give you an idea, we have a cold snap right now as this is recorded before the 4th of July. And uh, it's a cold snap. We're about 10 degrees below normal. Matter of fact, today we didn't break 100. <laughs> we hit 99. Break out the parkas. <laughs> yeah, really. You never put away your Wrap the clothes. muffler around your neck. We don't <laughs> want you getting frostbite now. Oh, that is the truth. But yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, you know what kind of a world you're living in when 80 degrees is cool and comfortable. I was out on the yeah, patio yeah. last night before I went to bed, and <laughs> as a matter of fact, I didn't even have my shirt on, and it was just, you know, great, great temperature for kicking back and just looking at the stars. It's, uh, it's crazy. 80 degrees is cool and comfortable. Wow, who'd have thought? <laughs> I remember when I was a kid in upstate New York, that was a darn hot day. 80 degrees was hot back then. Yeah, growing up in Boston, same way. Yep. Yep. You just, you just never know until you actually experience it what the, uh, what the difference is. It's, it's really strange. And, uh, well, I think we've covered enough weather. We probably should get back into the music. I wanted to mention the fact that uh, our next guest is up for an award. As a matter of fact, they have been nominated for the. Uh, let me let me make sure I got this right. They've been nominated for the Josie Award for World Artist or Duo or Group of the Year, and uh, we wish them all the luck in the world. And we're going to have. Uh, Charles Daza and the Revenants talking with us in uh, in just a couple of minutes after we play this first tune. Yeah, but before we do that, uh, you know, I think since we're you know mentioning uh, awards that can be won, awards that will be won, I understand that a magazine article has been published featuring none other than the world famous the David Bowers. 
And uh, <laughs> I, I just think now I know that we don't normally push ourselves like that. But ladies and gentlemen, you've got to go to Facebook and you've got to look up the Lazy uh, Indie Music Magazine, and that's spelled L-A-Z-I-E, and prominently featured is a very in-depth music about the promotion of indie music and the people that do it, and one of them being featured prominently is our very own the David Bowers. And uh, i got to tell you, I read the article. It is fantastic. It's going to do us a world of good, but I think it's going to do anybody that comes on this show a world of good as well. And so uh, I'll go ahead and I'll stop patting us on the back now, and if you want me to (laughs) shut up and play some music, maybe that's probably a good idea. Well, well, thank you very much. That was... uh... That was very nice of you to say, and yes, it was uh, it was a pleasure and an honor to be uh, interviewed for Lazy Indie Music Magazine, which is out of India. So hopefully, we've got our uh, our India audience contingent on board with us. Glad to hear that, and uh, thank you very much for the kind words, both John Bon Jovial and Jay at uh, at Lazy Indie. We really appreciate that. It was a pleasure. And uh, before we bring on the next uh, the next act. I feel like a ringmaster here. Bring in the next act. Um, I do want to say hello to one other friend of ours off to the west, and that would be our new some of our newest followers at Honolulu Ford, who build themselves as the largest American car dealership in the world. We want to say hello to Angela Wong, general manager, and all the rest of the crew, our friends at Honolulu Ford in Hawaii. Thank you so much for following us. Ladies and gentlemen, we get on with the music right now. Here are Charles Daza and the Revenants. It's called Nasan Kana. Sabi mo kasi 